So I went to my local comic book shop for their big Black Friday sale. All their back issues were 50% off. All their wall books were 25% off. And I came home with a big stack of books and one pretty cool wall book as well. All different stuff in here. I can't wait to show you today's haul. I got some really cool stuff and I got some incredible deals. Let's take a look at the haul. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to today's video. My name's Matt. This is Patriot Comics. So like I said, I just went to my local comic book shop for their annual Black Friday sale. Everything in the store was on sale. Their back issues, which I got a whole bunch of them, uh, they were all 50% off of their sticker price. Uh, their wall books, their keys were 25% off. Uh, the, the toys were on sale, uh, all of the new comic books and trade paperbacks and everything like that. Everything was on sale. There was incredible deals to be had. Uh, and the best thing is my local comic book shop, Comic Relief in Tom's River, New Jersey. Uh, Anthony, the owner, is a super awesome guy, and he prices his books to sell. I mean, everything is priced extremely fair or even low uh, to begin with. And then it was another, it was 50% off on top of that. So, I mean, how incredible is that? Like I said, huge stack of books, uh, some comics, some magazines, uh, a cool wall book. Uh, so let's get into the haul. Uh, they had their sale all weekend. Uh, so Black Friday, unfortunately, I wasn't able to go there for the initial opening day of the sale. So I'm sure I missed some incredible books and some incredible deals. I ended up going on Saturday, uh, so I was kind of wondering if I was even going to be able to find anything at all, and I'm looking through the back issues, and there's still a whole bunch of awesome books that nobody grabbed. I was really surprised. Maybe my tastes are just a little bit different than others, uh, but I found some great books, some keys, uh, some Silver Age, some Bronze Age, uh, some really, really cool stuff that I'm going to show you here in just a minute, uh, but I think I got some incredible deals, some really cool stuff. Uh, but yeah, I went on Saturday and I was able to come home with that many books. Uh, so let's get into it. I'm really excited. I can't wait to show you. Let's, let's take a look at the magazines first. So I was diving through their back issues of magazines and I actually found some pretty awesome stuff. First off is the classic Jim Starlin graphic novel, The Death of Captain Marvel. Uh, it's in fairly good condition. There's a couple little like color smears on the side here, little color rubs. Um, but I actually have had my eye on this book for a while. Uh, usually I see it for like 20 or $30. Uh, this was priced at 12 bucks and I got it for 50% off. So only $6 for this book, I think is an incredible steal of a deal. It's got a great cover and it's just a great story. I can't wait to read through this one. So really happy about picking this one up. And next up, we have some horror magazines, which are one of my favorite things to collect and to read and to flip through. And this one is extremely unique, and it's got some special things going on here, too. So this is Vendredi 13, which is French for Friday the 13th. And this is a horror magazine published in 1988 in France. And this is just a really cool magazine. Uh, it's, you know, it's foreign because I'm here in the U.S. So it's like a foreign magazine. It is in French, uh, but I'm sure the images are really cool. And I can read a little bit of French. I can kind of understand what's going on. Uh, but what I noticed right away, uh, which is just amazing, is this right here. The book is signed. This magazine is signed. And I wasn't sure... Uh, the signature, and then I kind of had a, a little bit of an inkling of what it might be or who it might be, and then I had to double check. Uh, so I'll throw it up on the screen here. This was signed by Clive Barker, the creator of Pinhead, uh, the you know the creator of Pinhead and Hellraiser. I mean, how amazing is this? It was actually signed by the creator Clive Barker. I was kind of hoping it was his signature. And after I verified it with a bunch of signatures that I found online, I realized it's the real deal. It's definitely his authentic signature. And this is uh, issue number four, I believe. Uh, yes, from October of 1988. Like I said, from France, only published from 88 through 1990. And it's just a really, really cool uh, French horror magazine. So 
to get this one priced at $5. So that means I paid $2.50 for an incredible French magazine and a signature by the one and only Clive Barker. This was a huge score. Next magazine I have here is Toxic Horror, and this is issue number one. Um, I mean, just cool stuff here. I love these horror mags. I mean, you got Freddy and Michael Myers on the cover. Uh, I mean, and it's a number one of the of the series. It's from December of 1989, uh, and this is priced at $5, so I paid $2.50. How incredible is that? And then the next one I got was... Toxic Horror, issue number two, with Toxie on the cover. The Toxic Avenger. How amazing is that? Uh, this is from February of 1990. Really, really cool. So two of these, issues number one and two. Uh, for uh, This was priced at $7, so I paid $3.50. I mean, about, I paid about $5, $6 for these two magazines. I think that was awesome. I'm really excited to flip through these. We got another Freddy cover. This is Horror Fan. Uh, this is from 1989, and I think it's it's the first anniversary collector's edition, so I guess this is an issue number one. Uh, I'm not really familiar with this title, but it looks awesome. It's got a great cover with uh, Robert England as the Phantom of the Opera. How cool is that? So excited to pick that one up for only $2. Also, Fangoria presents Freddy Krueger, Nightmare on Elm Street. Um, I mean, this one was priced at $5, so, you know, $2.50. It's in really nice condition. It's got a great Freddy cover, and I just thought that was awesome. And then the last magazine here is Fangoria Horror Spectacular with the Crypt Keeper on the cover. I absolutely love Tales from the Crypt. I used to watch it on HBO when I was pretty young, probably too young to be watching that show. Uh, but just an awesome cover with the Crypt Keeper, uh, priced at seven bucks, so three dollars and fifty cents. Really cool stuff here. So nice little stack of horror magazines. Now let's get to the comic books. First comic up for today is Marvel Superheroes featuring Hulk and Submariner, issue number forty-eight. I just love this cover. For it was priced at two fifty. I got it for a dollar twenty-five, and it's it's in really nice condition. I mean, it's got a little bit of a a little bit of staining on the spine, uh, but I mean, overall, great looking book for $2.50, or actually, no, $1.25. I love this awesome Silver Surfer cover. I mean, I had to grab that. What a, what a deal. And speaking of classic covers, here is the Jim Lee X-Men issue number 11. Uh, just a classic Jim Lee cover. You got the, the X-Men on the cover, Wolverine front and center, claws out. I mean, what an awesome cover. Uh, really, this book is just significant for the cover, for the most part. It's not like a key or anything, uh, but it was priced at $4. That means I got it for 2 bucks, and it's high grade, mint condition. I mean, a near mint copy, gorgeous cover. Can't beat a little Jim Lee X-Men, especially for 2 bucks. Continuing on with X-Men, here's X-Men Adventures, issue number one. Uh, it's funny because this book got so hot for a minute uh, when X-Men uh, 97 came out, and it's like... The book, I guess the book's dropped in price value uh, for this particular copy. Um, but, you know, when I see them cheap, I still grab them. It's still very nostalgic. I mean, I grew up with the X-Men animated series. So, uh, priced at $9. So, I got it for $4.50. Um, it does have a couple little tiny spine ticks on there. But for 4 bucks, why not? It's, it actually is a pretty cool cover. And uh, it's just an iconic book, especially for, you know, us 90s kids that are nostalgic with uh, the X-Men animated. So really happy to pick this one up for another awesome deal. Moving on to a little Star Wars, we have Return of the Jedi, issue number three. Uh, this was a four-issue limited miniseries. Uh, this is a near-mint copy. It's a gorgeous copy. Newsstand, uh, issue number three, cool cover with Chewie and Han and Leia. Um, I have the number one in this series, and that's the only one I have. So I figured I might as well finish out this little mini run. Uh, so I grabbed number three because it was priced at four bucks, got it for two dollars, and it's a near mint copy. So I figured that was a no brainer. Super cool. Love Star Wars, love Jedi, and it's actually a pretty cool cover. I like the purple background. So happy to add this one to the collection. 
And this one was really cool. Speaking of nostalgia, here's Tales of G.I. Joe, issue number one. Uh, so this was basically a, a reprint of G.I. Joe Real American Hero, issue number one. Um, and it's got the same cover, that classic cover. Uh, but, you know, it's it was just a reprinting, but still has some decent value. Uh, and it's a nice high-grade copy. I, ne I did not have this one in my collection yet. Uh, I do have the, uh, you know, the first printing from Real American Hero, uh, but I just didn't have this one. It was priced at $10, so I got it for 5 bucks. I think that was a great deal. Uh, huge G.I. Joe fan, and uh, really excited to add this one to the collection. Um, I mean, just such a classic cover, and, uh, you know, I didn't have it, so I had to buy it. This next one here really doesn't have a whole lot of value. Uh, it's not like a key or anything. It's just a number one Bronze Age Marvel comic, which is one of my little uh, niche collections that I do. Uh, I just collect all Bronze Age Marvel issue number ones. Uh, so here's Marvel Double Feature number one uh, with Captain America and Iron Man. I mean, it's got a great cover. Um, it actually has a couple little spine ticks on there. But that's Bronze Age for you. And it was priced at $6, so I got it for 3 bucks. I mean, I just grabbed it because, you know, there was a lot of cool stuff. And I was just getting deals. And I figured, why not grab the book? I might actually already have this one. I got to check. I, I couldn't remember. I know I have, like, Marvel 2-in-1 number one. And, uh, you know, a couple of the, of the other, like, Marvel uh, compilation reprint books. Um, so I got to check if I have this one, but for $3, why not? And speaking of Bronze Age Marvel issue number ones, here's Logan's Run number one. Uh, also priced at six bucks, so I got it for $3. It's a high grade copy. Um, I mean, just a classic, nostalgic, uh, you know, movie turned comic or comic turned movie. I'm not sure which one came first, uh, but still really, really cool. Uh, I love like the sci-fi eighties kind of stuff, or maybe it was, was this seventies, I guess. Yeah, I don't know, but still Logan's run, just a cool book. Uh, it was high grade. It was $3 figured I'd pick this one up as well. So one of the runs that I've been working on a lot lately is the Submariner run, the Bronze Age Submariner. Uh, so here is Savage Submariner, issue number 68. That's got a pretty cool cover. Uh, this is kind of like later in the run, um, one of the last few issues. Uh, so I needed this one, and I figured I'd pick it up. It was priced at 6 so I got it for $3. And uh, I mean, when you can get Bronze Age Submariner for 3 bucks, I mean, I feel like that's a no-brainer. Uh, but I did need this one for the collection. Happy to grab this one. Um, you know, nothing too special, but definitely uh, happy about this purchase. So next we have a Bronze Age series that I actually wasn't collecting, but I guess I am now. Uh, I do have this, a couple of issues in this run, Combat Kelly and the Deadly Dozen. I have numbers one, two, and three. I might have four as well. But now here's issue number five. It's priced at $5, uh, so I got it for $2.50. It's in great condition. I love the artwork on these covers, uh, so I was happy to pick this one up. But then they also had issue number six, uh, priced at $6, so I got it for three. Also, awesome artwork on the cover. Um, this one's got some tanning to it, but, you know, not too bad for the price I paid. And continuing on, we have issue number seven, a uh, really cool cover here. Um, just, I really like, you know, the Bronze Age and Silver Age Western and war books. Um, I just love the artwork and I like to read through them. I mean, they're a lot of fun. Uh, Golden Age as well, of course, but, uh, Combat Kelly is definitely a fun little series. And then here is issue number eight. So we got issues number five through eight of Combat Kelly, all in pretty fair condition, pretty nice, uh, grade and, uh, really inexpensive. I mean, this one I got for what, $2.50. And now I have, you know, almost the first 10 issues of this series. Um, we'll see how far I go uh, completing this one. So like I mentioned, I went to the sale the second day. I went on Saturday. Friday was the big grand opening of the sale, you know, where people were lined up, you know, down the hall, like waiting at the door. Uh, people get there super early trying to get in and get all the good stuff right away. And this book was still there, sitting in the back issues the next day. I don't know why. I guess people don't like 
this uh, this particular series. Um, maybe they don't like this cover. I don't know. But this is a huge, awesome book. This is Astonishing Tales, issue number 13, with Man-Thing. This is the first cover appearance of Man-Thing. I mean, Man-Thing, this guy right there. I mean, he does look a little bit different, you know, artwork-wise, uh, than um, Frank Bruner's artwork. Uh, but, you know, still, this one here, I mean, is still a classic book. And, uh, I mean, and, and the, the craziest thing too, is look at the price. It was priced at $7 and there's really nothing wrong with this book. There's no spine ticks. It's got a little bit of like slight tanning cause it's a white cover. Um, but not really that bad at all. This actually might even be an upgrade to the one I have in my collection. Uh, I don't know. First cover appearance of man thing, classic book here, issue number 13. I got it for $3 and 50 cents. I mean, if you look this one up on Key Collector, it says it's like, I don't even know how much, like over $100. I don't know. I guess it's really not worth that much, I guess, because I find this book so cheap all the time. Uh, I don't know why it's not worth more, but I love Man-Thing. I have like three copies of this. I had to buy another one because it might even be an upgrade. Really, really excited about this one. Moving on to some Silver Age. First off, we have Sergeant Fury in his Howling Commandos. This is issue 32. Um, just a book I needed. Another run I'm working on is the Silver Age, uh, Silver Age Sergeant Fury books. Uh, so, you know, I, I'm, there's a lot. There's about a hundred or so issues, uh, where it kind of gets into the Bronze Age. So I'm, I'm working on like the first 90 or so issues, uh, but I believe I needed this one. I mean, it was priced at five bucks. I got it for $2 and 50 cents. I mean, two fifty for, for silver age Marvel books in general is just awesome. And I also picked up another one here with a really, really awesome tank cover. Uh, this is number 63 priced at six bucks. So I got it for $3, two silver age Nick Fury or Sergeant Fury books. Uh, really excited, and I believe I need both of these for my collection. And moving on with some more Marvel Silver Age, we have Strange Tales, issue 152, featuring Nick Fury and Doctor Strange. This one has an awesome cover. I uh, really like this one. It's, I mean, it's lower grade. It's got some spine wear, but honestly, it's, it's not horrible. Uh, it was priced at $17, so I paid what, uh, $8 and 50 cents. I mean, what a deal. I think that was great. Um, so, you know, can't complain. I don't have this one in my collection yet. I love, uh, silver age Marvel books, um, and DC as well, but I, I do focus, tend to focus more on Marvel. Uh, but strange tales is a series that I I'm always buying when I find them at great deals. And I think $8 was, a, was an awesome deal. So happy to add this one to the collection as well. Moving on to some DC books. First off, we have Weird Western Tales 24 featuring my boy Jonah Hex. I absolutely love Jonah Hex. One of my favorite DC characters, to be honest. Uh, I've always liked him. Uh, I even liked the movie. Some people may not, but I, I enjoyed the movie. Josh Brolin is the man. Uh, but I do collect the Weird Western Tales and the Jonah Hex, like volume one. Uh, those are really the only ones that I collect or read. Uh, but this is issue 24 from Weird Western Tales. Uh, his first appearance was in issue number 10. And uh, this is just a great Bronze Age DC Western, uh, creepy, weird. I mean, just just great stuff. Uh, it was priced at $4 and I got it for 2 bucks. Really, really can't complain about that one. I also picked up some Silver Age. We have World's Finest 185. Um, it was priced at $6, so I got it for 3 bucks, and it's in great condition. I mean, it does have a little color break up top there, but overall, I mean, it's a super nice-looking book, um, and the colors are really vibrant. And, I mean, you have Batman and Superman fighting with axes and shields on the cover. How awesome is that? I mean, super cool, uh, and especially for $3, definitely a great buy. So it's pretty funny because when it comes to collecting DC comics, uh, besides like Jonah Hex and Weird Western Tales, my go-tos in DC uh, are Silver Age, Wonder Woman, and Lois Lane. Probably because I just like the artwork. Um, I don't know. I'm, I'm always grabbing the Silver Age and early Bronze Age 
uh, Wonder Woman's and Lois Lane books. I just, I think they're great. Uh, so here is Superman's Girlfriend, Lois Lane, issue number 83. Uh, it's just got an awesome cover. I mean, she's riding a motorcycle. She almost, she kind of looks like Evil Knievel with the red and the white. Really, really great cover here. Uh, priced at $8, got it for four bucks. It's in great condition, uh, you know, for its age. Um, and really, really happy about this one. I thought that was super cool. Also picked up Lois Lane issue 87. Um, this one's just in pretty nice shape. It's Silver Age. Uh, it was priced at $6. I got it for three bucks and it's got Lois Lane. Uh, it's got like a cat fight going on, you know, two, two girls going, uh, beating each other up on the cover. Kind of a, kind of a crazy cover. Superman's, you know, like trying to, trying to separate him. He's trying to keep the peace here, but, <laughs> and for that, I'll kill her, kill her, kill her. Dang, Lois, you're going crazy. Uh, but really cool book. I mean, for three bucks, I had to grab that one. Also picked up issue number 90. Uh, just once again, another super cool cover. Um, they're in like the capsule, I guess, of being about to being shot off into space or something. I don't know. Uh, but just a cool cover. It's in uh, fairly good condition. Silver Age, Lois Lane, can't beat it. Uh, like I said, this is stuff that I buy. Last Lois Lane book here is issue 94, a little early Bronze Age. Um, I just like the cover. I love like the yellow background and you got Lois in the mirror, kind of like grabbing herself by the arm. I'm, it's the mystic mirror, Lois Lane in the mystic mirror. Pretty interesting. Uh, so just a cool cover. Uh, it was priced at $9. So I paid $4 and 50 cents. Not bad at all. All right. So we have three more of the back issues and then one wall book and that's it for today's haul. So first off we have Aquaman issue 38, Another DC run is uh, that I do enjoy collecting is the Silver Age Aquaman. I absolutely love the artwork on the covers. I know like Nick Cardi does some incredible covers and um I mean there's it's just amazing artwork. So, uh, I saw a couple of them here uh, that were still left in the back issues even after a bunch of people picked through them the day before. Uh nobody grabbed these ones, so why not? Uh here we have issue 38, really cool cover really pretty nice condition. Uh, I do have a lot of Silver Age Aquaman in my collection and they are mostly completely beat <laughs> beat up. Uh, these ones are pretty nice. So it is priced at $12. So I paid six bucks. Still $6, I think is a steal. Really cool, especially in that grade. Another nice one here is issue 43. Um, just a really cool cover. Uh, looks <laughs> Aquaman's like tied up to the bottom of this guy's foot. I mean, pretty crazy. Uh, price at $9. So, uh, you know, got it for half of that. Half price. I mean, how awesome. Really cool. Silver Age Aquaman. And then this one I actually bought recently. Uh, this is uh, number 48. I love this cover. Uh, but the one I bought was kind of... Uh, kind of worn and had a lot of spine ticks and really wasn't in the best of shape. And then I saw this one. So I figured I just grab it. Now I can upgrade the one I have because this cover is gorgeous. Um, I mean, it was priced at $8 and 50 cents. So would I pay $4 and 25 cents? Not bad at all. Some silver age Aquaman really, really can't beat it. Let's get into the last book. All right, so the uh, the wall books and all the keys, they were definitely picked through. Uh, well, they were basically gone. Uh, they were non-existent. Uh, everybody was buying the wall books. They were, they were all 25% off. I know we had some good stuff up on the wall. People were snagging them up uh, the day before, uh, you know, on Black Friday. Uh, but I did, you know, scour the wall and, and see if there's anything that piqued my interest. And then I saw this book here. Sheena, Queen of the Jungle, 3D, issue number one. Super cool book here. Uh, of course, this is an, an iconic cover done by the late, the great Dave Stevens, 1984. Uh, man, Dave Stevens is one of my favorite artists. I absolutely love his artwork. Um, just gorgeous stuff. I mean, yes, he does the female form very beautifully, but he does all different stuff really, really nice. And it's just a very unique, classic, uh, pinup style, very retro, very like just, uh, I don't know, just something about it really speaks to me. And it really just stands out among many other artists. 
So happy to grab this one. Uh, it was $40, so I got it for 25% off of that. Um, you know, just really, really happy to, to pick this one up. Uh, so I, I have quite a few of Dave Stevens' books in my, uh, you know, his comic covers in my collection. Uh, but I did not have this one yet, and it is absolutely gorgeous. And this is a nice near mint copy as well. No spine ticks, no color breaks. Um, honestly, it, it is absolutely gorgeous. So that's the haul for my Black Friday shopping at my local comic book shop, Comic Relief, Tom's River, New Jersey. If you're ever in the area, definitely go see Anthony and the guys and uh, over there because they are absolutely awesome. Super cool shop with toys, comics, cards, just everything you could ever want in the world of collectibles. And uh, his prices are outstanding and the uh, customer service is top notch. So that's everything. Hope you enjoyed checking out my haul. Leave a comment down below. Let me know what your my favorite, uh, your favorite book was that I picked up. Uh, I'm I'm really excited about this one. I feel like every Black Friday I always come home with really great stuff, and this one was, uh, you know, no different. So thanks for watching. Smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the notification bell. And as always, I'll see you on the next one.